Hey YouTube, this is Fairy Shypaw, um, being Queen Icy Spirit right now, because I'm going to do a walkthrough for um, one of the adventures, because um, I got a strategy, and it doesn't really matter, I guess, but... This is going to be pretty quick, because it's a pretty quick adventure. Yeah, nobody cares, Liza. But, um, this way I can show you all the chests and stuff like that. Pumpkin, cork. Actually, I went over it. Okay, back here, see where these trees, you can see the branches. If you go through here, alright, and the same chest is there on hard. Might be more um, in it. I th I'm almost positive that they double the amount that's in the chests um, when, you, when you go on hard. I'm not positive. So this is where my strategy starts because the thing is that um, there's one phantom literally for every chomper plant in return and I noticed that a lot of people don't they seem to underestimate it and they'll just kind of drag the phantoms around wildly and go oh my god help so hopefully this will avoid that issue um, Mm-hmm. Oh look, a cork. Stick that there. Like some of them, it doesn't really matter which one you drag it to, but like in this case, you want to drag this guy down. Because then there's this one up here. For that one. Give me this. And then there's this guy for this one. And the last quirk is over here. So we have the first, there's three phantoms circle this tree. You want to grab one and drag him over here. Make sure he doesn't get stuck on the damn tree. And then the other two you can collect at once. I do it a little sloppily. If you have less hearts, feel free to do it a little more safely. Doop. Doop. And then this, just because I can. I'm sure on easy there's nothing really interesting. Actually, I wanted to test something anyway. I never actually tested this. I just saw it on YouTube earlier. Yeah, I guess they fixed it. It was supposed to be a glitch where you could just keep clicking on the chest after you leave something. And it'll just keep leveling you up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that happens a lot, by the way. Um, mostly in Great Escape for me. is I gotta think. There we go. There's a couple of places the corks are usually at. Um, the last one's usually either in this little pocket here or I've also found it go up a little bit. I've also found it in here in this little pocket and I've also found it up here in this pocket. And after I plug the river, I'll show you where I found the other ones before. Um, yep. You can walk on it before it disperses, by the way. Once you plug it, you can walk on it. It only works in this one, though. I found that in some of them, uh, that doesn't work yet. Don't forget, there's another chest down here, guys. Let's see, the first cork... I've found in a couple of different places. The 
first cork I've found on the side here. I'm still not quite sure what's with this. It's a cave, but you can't get up there. And then the second cork is usually either get up there, like somewhere on the side or up here. I think I've also found one somewhere up here. If you look on your mini map, you can see exactly where I am. Can even enlarge that. It's up here. So the corks, they do switch positions, so, I mean, at least now you have a clue. My strategy is usually just to run through this as fast as possible. Um, if you do these four and then grab another watering can and take the river back, you can get this one on the way. And then with this one, you can get these two. And then with this one, you can get this. And then the obvious. Which is just annoying more than anything. I think he shut up. I don't want to read what you ha you and Harvey have to say. In the little hobbit hole. I plan to do a lot more of these walkthroughs. I'm actually going to do one for like every level of every adventure. Um, if I ever get the motivation. And you can just take the river back. Um, just because I think it's nice to have some clarity to it. Come on. I'm not going to pay attention to the order like that I release rabbits because quite honestly I don't care because it's easy mode this guy he often gets stuck in the tree you just gotta like pancake yourself against the rock uh, usual places I find keys on this one are here where there is one actually um, come on buddy find one sometimes down here on this little flower patch and every chomper plant that I do you want to try to mock it there's always one down here not always but there's usually one down there um, because otherwise you're going to run out of chompers or have a spare phantom somewhere. I've actually run into a glitch on this one before where uh, on these particular three chompers, um, it chomped down on the phantom, it gave me the, gold, the gems for it, and the phantom was still there and it would chase me. There's the other key. Um, so that kind of sucks because there's an equal amount of chompers for phantoms and in that case there wasn't and we just passed the last key and I gotta get rid of these guys um but yeah the key was up here what I'm showing you is more places that keys may manifest not so much where they do manifest I've found a key here before, um, so, you know, if you guys are having trouble finding one, just look in these spots. I don't really care who gets released, because this is not hard mode. I've also 
I found very rarely, but I found a key up here before. Which is kind of silly because it just moves over like three inches. Like they don't think anyone's going to notice that. You can see this whole run is going to take me less than 15 minutes. It shouldn't really take you any longer than 15 to 20 minutes. Hey, Oliver, buddy. Supplier of my rare bows. I've said in a previous video, he's he's given me um blue bows. I don't know that... Like, that seems to be the only color that I get from the hard mode is blue and I don't know that they do that on purpose or what but it's kind of annoying because then you don't get a chance for the berry because the berry is like the rarest all right and I'll just bring this up I want gems because I don't care about the stupid items anymore all right That'd be that. But yeah, that's I'm I'm planning to do a walkthrough for like all of them, just because I know that like once you do Phantom Return of the Phantoms on hard, there's add-ons to the map, and it makes things a little more confusing for people who have never done it before. Um, Phantom Portal, I I might do. I'm not really sure, just because um. I don't like it, <laughs> put it simply. Um, Meet Cosmo I'll definitely do because I like it and I notice that there's, where in the world did you get that? Oh, that's the shirt. Um, yeah, I'm not doing Return of the Phantoms with you, go away. Um, but for Meet Cosmo, I know a lot of people don't do it because they thought it was really long or they just don't, it's really lengthy when you do it on your own and I can show you how to do it in a group that will make it a whole lot easier I am not doing Return of the Phantoms, go away um, or at least make it go a little faster if you're synchronized I'm definitely, I, I definitely want to try the Hive um, and I'll do one for Great Escape if my computer allows it, because I'm really glitchy with it. I don't know if it's everybody or if it's just me, because I know it is in beta, but it it really does not like me. But yeah, you can see the, the whole thing, like, Return of the Phantoms on Easy took me like 12 minutes. It really shouldn't take you much longer than that. But, uh... Yeah. Alright. Jam on jammers.